Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today I have the first whiskey from a Belgian distillery. Belgium, yeah, quite a small country uh, with two languages, French in the south and Netherlands in the north. And uh, well, they were able to buy two old stills from the Cappadonic distillery from Rothes, Scotland. And uh, the Cappadonic distillery was called or named the Glen Grant Number no. Two. It was part of the uh, Chivas Regal uh, Empire, and it was well for for the real amount of whiskey the Chivas brand demanded, and it was built comparable to Glen Grant, so that the taste was comparable, and was able to well, to substitute the distillery of Glen Grant if there would have been a fire or something like that, but it never happened. And I think after the turn of the century, the Cappadonic distillery uh, was mothballed and a few years later it was wrecked completely. And behind the Cappadonic distillery is the Forsyth Copper Works. Uh, I visited uh, Richard Forsyth oh, 10 years, 15 years ago and uh, well, I saw how the daft mill stills were built and daft mill, uh, yeah, 15, 17 years ago, uh, because a daft mill produces for 15 years now, I think, and never <laughs> brought a bottle on the market. Yeah, mm -hmm. welcome to the creative craft world of the owl distillery, the owl. Uh, yeah, here the Belgian owl is a wonderful, all here on top and on the side is written Bali raised in Belgium, sustainable, pot still, coloring free, non-chill filtered, handcrafted. And please be aware, uh, this 46 uh, ABV bottle is only half a liter and uh, it's priced around in the mid 50s. So it's quite an expensive one uh, for the small size. Uh, this is... Dutch, this is English, and then there's the French one. Laissez-vous se prendre par ce whisky, 100% belge, et découvrez les arômes fruités et floraux comme la pomme, la poire. Yeah. Uh, let yourself be surprised by this 100% Belgian single malt whisky and discover the perfume of apple, pear, and white flowers from the young malt, married with the fragrances of vanilla, hazelnut, and cinnamon from the oak barrel. And this is first fill ex bourbon. The Owl distillery is located in the heart of the Haspe in Belgium. Belgium, there's the big town of Liège in the east of Belgium, not far away from the German border. And in that region where a lot of farm work is going on, this distillery is situated. Two ingredients that we use to create our whiskey both come from this region. We take the water from the well in the distillery garden at 38 meters deep. And the barley comes from the fields surrounding the distillery. To ensure that they will continue giving their best for future generations, we grow our barley based on environmental aware agriculture. It is our aim to valorize and support the local growers and their agriculture. The still were made in 1898 for the mythic Cappadonic distillery. <laughs> no, not mythic, sorry. Uh, it was a quite industrial uh, distillery located in the Speyside region in the heart of Scotland. Their home is now in Belgium with us and since 2013 they distill for Belgian Owl. This whiskey is 36 months old. It sounds better than three years. And uh, well, I put the the video, not the video, the picture of the Cappadonic distillery in the back. I think that suits. Um, <laughs> By enjoying Belgian Owl, you will discover the dream of a craftsman that has become true. Etienne Bouillon is an artisan with passion in heart and soul. The master distiller has surrounded himself with a small team that is daily committed enthusiastically to the creation of this wonderful liquid with a golden glow. Yeah, <clears throat> so here we go. It's first fill ex bourbon, 36 months, and uh, well, the color is 
yeah, golden, bright golden. And uh, no cork, <laughs> plastic. Uh, I like the whiskies with the plastic cork because there's no chance at all uh, that the cork may degrade and uh, well start to to smell this TCA bacteria waste. Uh, so a plastic cork is not too bad from my point of view. It does not look authentic, uh, but. If you open a bottle 30, 40 times until it's empty, uh, then there is significant wear on the cork. And yeah, so there's a lot of advantages uh, in plastic corks, uh, but it's not authentic. So this is the dilemma we're in. So it smells like cedar, like cider, uh, apple fresh fruity and in the back there's the vanilla from the American white oak and then there are pears and probably banana and floral floral notes The impact is strong, yeah, and well, yeah, there's some youthness in it still, and uh, some lemons coming through, the citrus note uh, from the fresh spirit, and well, some spiciness coming after, if this is ginger, as they said there, or is it a pepper note, mm, don't know. But the cinnamon, sorry. Ah, no. I like cinnamon very much. And here I don't find the cinnamon. So this is for a first work. It's a masterpiece. So to have the newly built or newly, newly reintegrated stills in a new distillery, uh, up to this point in such a short time. Good work for, of them, yeah. So this is very close to a Scotch whiskey. And it has a very, yeah, space side style with a top note of the apple fruitiness, which might be a little stronger than typically the fruity notes in the space side whiskies are. The cask is, is wonderful, it's a good one. Yeah, but be careful, this one is quite young, is quite expensive, uh, and hopefully it will spread over the old and new world. Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned, there's always more to come, and feel free to share this video with your friends.